guys, so I know I didn't make a video last week and that was because I just had so much to do in school but don't be worried, I am graduating in like less than two weeks or a little more than two weeks, I'm not really sure but I'm graduating soon which means that I will have so much more time to create video for you guys so get excited for that, at least I am super excited to be done with school let's be honest. So before I graduate, I'm gonna go to prom and today I thought it would be really fun to do a prom look um, because I know that some of you have not had your prom yet, like me. Um, so I thought maybe you could get inspired by this look. I don't know. This is me practicing for my prom to be honest. Um, I'm wearing the prom dress I was gonna wear but I have a new one because this one didn't really fit right but I'm wearing it now in the spirits of prom. I think I'm gonna go for a pretty natural brown smoky eye and hopefully you guys can get some inspiration from this. Okay so for prom you obviously want your face makeup to last all day. My prom is gonna be an all-nighter so I don't want it to wear off or sort of look shiny throughout the day so to prevent that I am gonna use my The Body Shop all-in-one 5 Action Perfector uh, Insta Blur. <laughs> so I'm just gonna warm this up between my fingers, apply it all over my face and then just really blend it in so it sort of gets into all your pores <laughs> uh, which sounds gross. For your foundation or your base you don't want anything with a lot of SPF in it because when you're taking a lot of pictures which you might want to do on your prom day uh, you don't want that sort of white flashback that you get from SPF now I couldn't find any SPF free foundations in my little makeup stash so I'm just gonna go for my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in, Stay in Place Makeup. This is like a semi matte velvety foundation which lasts for a really long time on my face which I sort of have a hard time finding foundations that last a long time because I have combination skin so it tends to wear off in my T-zone. But uh, this is probably too light for me as well. I have to get a new one before prom. I'm actually going to use a new foundation brush, which is super exciting. I got this yesterday. This is the Real Techniques Bold Metal Powder Brush. It looks so gorgeous. It is super soft. I found this yesterday when I went shopping with my mom. Uh, but I'm just going to use this for my foundation. So I'm just going to blend this in as well as possible. Even though you want a sort of flawless finish um, and makeup look for your prom, you definitely don't want to look back on pictures and see a cake face. Um, so just try to keep it full coverage but natural. Now I can see that this is way too light for my face so try to ignore that. I'm gonna try to uh, fix that by bronzing it up later but I definitely have to get a darker shade of this is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just gonna apply this on any spots or anything that I want to cover up. To blend that in, I'm gonna use my uh, Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush and I'm just gonna buff that into my face to make it look really flawless. This is a color that is more like my skin tone so I'm just gonna apply that really lightly to sort of make this look more like me and less like a ghost. <laughs> This is my MAC Studio Fix Powder in N5. It's a little bit too pink toned for me. One thing that you want to keep in mind when you're going to prom and when you know you're going to have your pictures taken is that camera flashes actually make you look more pink than you actually are. So if you have a foundation that is too pink for you, the pictures with the flash will make you look even more pink. So just keep that in mind. It's better to pick a yellow toned base than one that is too pink. And so it is time for my eyebrows and I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. So you don't want, you know, too drawn on eyebrows on your crown. You basically just want to look like a natural beauty. So that is what we're trying to achieve here. I am using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to achieve a flawless base on my eyelids. This is sort of canceling out my veins that I have on my eyelids. So I'm super excited about the eyeshadow because I'm actually gonna use my new Too Faced chocolate bar, uh, semi-sweet chocolate bar palette that I got from Britney when we did our swap. So I'm actually gonna start off with a really light 
shadow all over my lids first and I'm gonna use coconut cream for that and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid going up all the way to my eyebrow uh, do you guys like makeup tutorials like this that are just really chilled um, where I just sit and do my makeup and talk or do you want something more fancy like I don't know do you like this or no should I stop doing these or not let me know. I think I'm gonna say caramel, which is a red toned coppery bronze shade that is, it has a lot of red tones under it. And it's pretty light, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E35. And I'm just gonna apply that in my crease. And this is hopefully gonna act as a nice transition color. I'm gonna try to gradually build this up to a more smoky eye. So the next eyeshadow I'm gonna pick up is one that is pretty light. This is a sort of brownie taupey color. It's called Mousse. Um, so I'm just going to take that on the same brush and I'm going to apply that on top of the transition color. <clears throat> now I'm going to take this Haku Hoodoo brush that I got from iMask. This is the B5507 brush and I'm going to take Truffled, which is this color right here. Sort of like the mousse shade, except a little bit darker, and I'm gonna focus this on the outer half of my lid. So I'm just gonna start at the very outer corner. I'm gonna take my MAC 217 and just blend. I'm gonna pick up some more of that truffled color and apply that where we applied it before. And blend some more. Then I'm gonna take some of the shade Pudding, which is a taupey, like more cool toned taupey color. Um, it doesn't really have a whole ton of brown in it, but I'm using my Sigma Small Tapered Blending A45 brush, and I'm gonna focus this on the crease, mainly in the outer part of my eye. And then I'm also gonna put that in the outer corner. and blend some more. Now I am going to take some of the shade Licorice, which is a, I think it's a matte black color. I'm going to use my Sigma Short Shader E20 brush, and I'm going to put this on my upper lash line, and this is going to act as my eyeliner. <laughs> I forgot what it was called there. I'm going to take my crown brush C441 Pro Blending Crease Brush, and I'm gonna lightly blend this up, mainly the part in the outer corner. I'm gonna take the Modern Minerals uh, brush that I got from Brittany instead because this is a lot more defined, and I'm gonna blend this out more. I'm gonna take some of the coconut cream again on the same brush as before, and I'm gonna blend the top out. I'm gonna take some of the coconut cream, I guess. Put that on top. Not on top of the eyeshadow, but in the middle of the cream in the middle of the lid to sort of smooth out the eyeliner look. And then I'm gonna take some more eyeliner and just put that as far in as I can. I'm actually just gonna take a pretty small brush. I'm gonna pick up butter pecan, which is this color right here and I'm gonna apply that on the lid because you don't want it to be dark all over it is finally time to conceal under my eyes <laughs> I have eyeshadow all over the place but with this concealer it will all look good so I am taking my Maybelline age rewind concealer then I'm going to take my Sigma foundation brush and just blend that in. I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in the shade 25L and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. Now I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus and I'm going to put that on my lower or under my eyes where I put the concealer 
All right, to get those really bright and open and beautiful eyes, I want to highlight my inner corner. This is the Essence Metal Glam Eyeshadow in Golden Up. Ooh, super, super pretty. Really shimmery. I'm going to start off by putting this in my tear duct area. Then I'm going to bring it down. And then I'm going to bring it up. I think my camera cut off. I don't really know where, but I am contouring right now if you missed that. Um, so I'm just going to contour uh, and also bronze up my face. So I'm putting this on my cheeks a little bit, on my chin, kind of a lot on my forehead, like focusing on where my hair meets my face. Another important tip is that if you're bronzing up your face, you definitely have to bronze up your neck and your chest area if you're wearing a lower dress. Um, because if you don't, then it will just not look... It will look like you're wearing a too dark foundation. I think it's so pretty to layer blushes, especially for prom. So the first blush is my ambient lighting blush from Hourglass in the shade Luminous Blush. And I'm going to use my MAC 129 brush and I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks going back. Okay, I, the next blush I'm going to use on top of that super lightly is a blush that is a little bit more colorful. A tip is to put a really natural glowy blush as a base and then on the apples of your cheeks just super lightly put a blush that is more pigmented and colorful. I'm using my power blush from makeup store and I'm just gonna smile to see the apples of my cheeks and I'm just gonna super lightly put this on here okay so you might have noticed that I left my eyes for a bit because um, I'm gonna apply some false lashes and first before I'm gonna do that I'm gonna apply my mascara I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I find it easier to apply false lashes when my n normal lashes are straighter I'm going to apply my Max Factor 2000 calorie mascara first and then I'm going to apply my lashes. But obviously you guys don't have to wear lashes to prom. I'm not even sure if I'm going to. I kind of want to but I don't know if it will be annoying for such a long period of time. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to apply some. If you're just wearing mascara and no false lashes to prom, I would recommend putting more mascara on because then you kind of want that false eyelash effect. I'm also going to apply it to my lower lashes. I honestly think mascara makes the hugest difference in your makeup. Um, I feel like when you're wearing mascara, you look so much more put together than when you're not, and everything looks better. Now, I am going to put some of my Duo Eyelash, eyelash, <laughs> eyelash Adhesive on my false lashes. These are the Red Cherry Lashes in 213. I've never used them before, but they look like whiskeys. So I'm just going to leave this for a minute. Definitely try to place the lash on as close to your lash line as possible, but not on top of your lashes. A tip when it comes to your lips for prom is that really pale and nude colors tend to look washed out in pictures. So definitely pick one that is a little bit more bright. I chose to wear Love Lorne by MAC. I didn't really like this until I filmed my MAC lipstick collection and then I saw the clip and I was like, wow, that is actually so pretty. To make my lips look really voluminous, I was about to say juicy, but that's kind of weird. Uh, but to make them look voluminous, I'm using my Dior Lip Maximizer. Okay guys, so that is my finished makeup look. I was a little bit hesitant while I was actually putting it on because like I said, this is not a super planned out makeup look. I sort of just winged it. But in the end, I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I really hope that you can get some inspiration from this makeup look. So if you found this video helpful or just fun to watch, then please give me a big thumbs up so I know it would really mean a lot to me. So. Definitely, if you like this video, I'm talking to you, if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up because I would really appreciate it. Alright, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! And that's a loose leaf tea, that's why it's in this little tea sift or whatever it's called. I've already started to devour my pink.